Hey guys, welcome to our empty house tour. Come on in. We are so excited to be homeowners and we want to take you through because we are planning on doing some renovations and we definitely want to keep this video for our memories, but also just share the journey of all of the renovations. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, we have the dining room over here, which also could be a sitting area, but we definitely want a dining room because this whole time in an apartment, obviously, we just ate at our coffee table the whole time. So we're very excited about this. And Ryan literally just told me we need to order a dining room table. But I'll show you what I want our priority to be over here. Um, but these are the stairs. So we're going to most likely rip out all the carpet in the home. We're currently in the living room, which the light looks so good today. These past four days, and especially the day that we closed on this house, it was gloomy and eerie and... <laughs> It just felt like a fever dream and everything just did not feel real. So today it really felt like home and we had some friends come and just like see the place so it was really fun. First thing that we're doing to the house is getting rid of all of the flooring. We just bought the hardwood floors yesterday. We got a quote earlier this morning for someone to come lay the hardwood floors down. I feel like changing the hardwoods and giving it a nice new fresh paint color is going to change it drastically. So over here we have our fire place. How freaking cute is this? There was like a foundation issue, so that's why it's kind of, you know, messed up over here. So we w might want to get like a new mantle or I don't know. We like this, but we also want it to be like have an edge, you know, we for put like, like a, a Christmas garland. Wood thing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But we definitely will hang the TV over here. And then moving on over here, I have an idea to kind of like cut out this part of the stairs and make it see-through I guess or like, like just more open um and have like spindles and have the light wood stairs so in our closing day vlog you'll see which hardwood floor we picked out I'm not really sure if I showed you guys I think I did but there were a lot of samples yeah these are makeshift um living room furniture right now we have these French doors that just opened up to the backyard this is pretty spacious backyard so we're really excited about that but I think the outdoors will probably be one of the last things we do, especially because winter is coming and I feel like everything's going to die. This is the breakfast nook and I love this little area. I think it's gonna be so cute and this is definitely something I want to make sure we get a table for first instead of the dining room because I feel like we'll eat here more. And then over here is the kitchen, which is massive. Compared to a lot of the homes we've toured in Austin, um, I think definitely one thing I want to make sure we do is paint the cabinets. I don't love the gray color. I think we're probably going to go for like a creamy white color. We have some paint samples over there. I did um, that. What? I said I did that today. What? Oh yeah. So we need to get rid of these. I think this is probably the first thing we need to do. Um, but I literally just bought some recess lighting on Prime Day, a ring doorbell on Prime Day. And we're just going to kind of try to smart home the whole house out affordably of course but yeah so this is the kitchen and the one thing i love about this kitchen already is that number one this is a dishwasher so it's a panel ready dishwasher which later down the road i really hope to do this with the fridge but this fridge sticks out so much on the side so i'm thinking we'll get a smaller fridge maybe put this one outdoor in the garage which i've always wanted an outdoor Bridge. Go back to the cabinets. They thought of everything. There's just these Lazy Susan organizers over here. These are soft clothes, which is so nice. That's definitely a luxury. In the island, there's like some drawers and just really nice. I keep seeing TikTok videos that are saying that cabinets are just less efficient, especially for down here and that you should have drawers. And so they already have drawers. One other thing I really want to do is to take this out and put a hood right here. I think that will definitely change the space up. And then where that fridge is, I'll probably do an appliance garage, just some more cabinetry. And then right over here will possibly be the panel ready fridge. So these are just ideas that I have. Obviously, I don't know the cost of everything and like the timeline and what we're gonna do first. And well, we're gonna do the hardwoods first, I said that, but pretty much, these are just all my ideas that I want to share with you guys. So let's go into the laundry room. Here's the laundry room and this is an issue because we just went to Home Depot and we were like looking for washer and dryers. And apparently they're just getting more and more like deep. Yeah. And right now we need a little less than 30 inches because this length is 30 inches. 
but also apparently this needs like four inches, the guy said, out. So I think the ones we're looking at were like maybe 27 inches, but they're small. And the guy said you would need like a 4.5 quart something to do even bedding. And so I feel like that's like standard maybe, I don't know. So we're like, what the frick do we do with this area? And like also what did the previous seller have here? We're so curious because these doors come out swinging. <laughs> so we're also thinking, well, I'm also thinking, maybe we'll do a pocket door here. And then behind you, Ryan, is our pantry. And I have big dreams for this space. I've always wanted a butler's pantry, which is kind of just like a kitchen countertop thing. And maybe we'll put the microwave here and a mini fridge here. Again, just ideas. So I'm not sure if we can actually execute all of this, but um, up here will probably just be more pantry shelves or like actual cabinetry so we can like hide it and make it nice and pretty. Um, but I definitely want kind of just like a coffee area, um, maybe another place where I can put like one or two appliances, like an air fryer or something. When we were looking at houses, we saw this really nice, beautiful home, newly built, and we walked out of it, at least I walked out of it thinking like, oh my God, should we buy this house? Like it's perfect, great location, great price. And then I went home thinking, you know what? I really need a garage because I want an outdoor fridge. And obviously Ryan this whole time was like, I want somewhere to park, but I was like, we can just park anywhere. But also in Texas, it's so hard to park outside because it's so hot. Your car is literally overheated. So I'm very, very happy that we did get a garage. I feel like that's kind of boring, so I won't show you guys that. But there's a lot of workspace, and so I'll probably show more of that in my vlogs. Um, but over here, we have our powder bathroom. It's pretty basic right now. Um, literally just a vanity and a toilet, but there's a good amount of space in here. It's not like tiny by any means. So I'm excited to get kind of get creative with that. But I think this will definitely be like one of the last projects because it's not something we're going to be using every day. And then over here is a stair closet, which is really cool. Um, just loving all the storage. We are going up the stairs right now. As I said, I want all of this carpet taken out. So literally the whole upstairs has carpet and it's all getting gutted. We have a little loft area up here. We have no idea what to do with this. And honestly, the first time we looked at this house, we were like, oh my God, it's huge. Like, what do we do with all the space? But I feel like we'll definitely figure it out along the way. So this is the Zumi room. Oh yeah. I kind of think we'll maybe make it like a formal living room. I'm not sure if we'll put a TV here. Maybe just like a sitting area, kind of cozy vibe. But we were also thinking we had friends over recently and they were saying maybe we should do a projector screen and we have a projector, so that would be really cool. So here's one of the bathrooms. The wood floor is already coming up. Like we didn't even realize during touring the house that the wood floors were so bad, but take a look at this. Like we could literally pull it up. So the inspector guy told us that. This again will probably be one of the last things we do. We definitely want the primary bathroom done first and here's some more storage, which we love. It's my whole closet right there. <laughs> This is probably gonna be my room. I have no idea what to do with it because in my apartment right now, I have like a filming room slash like my office, but technically if everything is to my liking, like every corner could be my filming room. So I think we'll probably just dedicate it to being my office and I'll have my walking pad. Ryan's gonna take my desk, so maybe I can get a standing desk. I don't mm, know. We'll, we'll... I'm gonna get a standing desk. Okay. <laughs> but we'll- Oh, we'll... you need for your walking pad, that's true, I forgot. Yeah, well, we can, we can take turns trying out the walking pad. I do have those floating shelves in my office right now that I'll probably want to put somewhere in the house, probably here. Um, and then I have a really nice spacious closet right here. I don't want this room, but <laughs> <It's fine. clears throat> i you get the bigger one with the it's big closet. Fine. If you like that closet, just wait until you see the primary closet. We are walking into Ryan's room, which honestly, now that I'm looking at it, it has a lot of light in here. I feel oh, like this background, more light than that. nice zoom background. Yeah, he, he's loving this wall, you guys. I'm not loving it, I'm indifferent. <laughs> but he's not hating it. Yeah. Take, take a look, take a look. <laughs> this is obviously a nursery from the last people that were here. Um, and I, I personally feel as though this is just not the vibe, but like I'm not hating on this thing. Um, I feel like it could all be painted black and just have like some texture poking out of the wall. What do you guys think? Comment down below. There's like some shelving, some baby book shelving. Maybe you can put all your Georgia memorabilia here. That would actually be cool. 
You're kind of a lot of it. Not really. <laughs> yes, you do. Like one helmet. That big Georgia metal thing. You probably right. have your diploma. You kind of, I think you have a lot more than you think. But here's his closet. It's pretty spacious. Oh, it yeah. pretty spacious. does not have a door right here. I can't even fit in this. Okay, Ryan. Wait, How many be... clothes do you have? Why do you get two giant closets? <laughs> because I'm a girl. So? Because it's just. You wear three things. You wear this every day. <laughs> Welcome to the primary suite, and it is legit a suite. Actually, I don't really know what a suite is, but look how freaking big this place is. So much room for activity, I can't even, and it just keeps going and going and going. So, this is probably going to be our sitting area thingy, and then turn around with me over here. We're probably gonna put our bed facing the windows right here. This wall is the wall with the outlets like right on each side of the bed and that wall isn't, but I feel like if we put the bed here, then that's kind of like wasted space. So if we put the bed over here, then... And dresser over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking I could have like a mirror whenever I take outfit pics, maybe I can be... I'll put a plant right there. I could do that too. I just feel like the light is gonna be so good, so... Very happy about all the natural lighting in this house. This is my space. Yes. I'm gonna put two chairs, Big coffee, coffee table, TV. bar cart, TV. It's gonna be so cool. Cool, like Pulp Fiction poster. Oh, you guys are not ready for this. Come on, come on in. Just keeps going, just keeps going. And then it ends, but <laughs> it's still a lot of freaking space. <sighs> I love it. This is like one of the main things that sold me on this house. I mean, like I said, there was just so much storage in this house and space and it's amazing. So I think we're going to split this closet, <laughs> which will be fun when we don't want to like clean, when I'll be in my cleaning mode and then you're like, eh, I don't want to put my clothes away. So. So we're going to have a hamper right here. Yeah. We'll probably put our hampers right here. Our current hamper is broken. So I definitely need to get a new one and probably a cuter one. And then. Our bathroom is right here. It has this massive window right here. And we're like, who put this big of a window in a bathroom? Like, I'm not <laughs> complaining, but I'm just curious. So very private. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love the lighting, but also I wish, I wish the lighting was like on the mirror side, you know? Because mm. it's like kind of backlit. So you would think the lighting would be good, but then if you're doing your makeup and like the sun is behind you, I don't know if that's going to be the best. But anyways, this countertop will the whole bathroom we want to redo. But this countertop is so low. Like, I'm sure, I feel like. But it's even low for me, so I can't even imagine for you, Ryan. But yeah, so there's a lot of space to work with, which is nice. And then we have a linen closet behind dry. That is the whole house. I'm so excited to take you guys along this journey. I'm definitely going to vlog it all here and follow me on TikTok and Instagram stories because I want to do like live updates of things that are happening daily. Um, and I honestly don't know like what the timeline's going to be. We're just starting to kind of get quotes on like things. And um, this weekend we're going to have the painters come and we already bought the wood flooring, which I said, so that will probably get laid down in the next couple of weeks. And we really don't know when we're going to be moving in. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. But we're so excited. Subscribe if you guys are not already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.